Does the LEGO Technic Jeep Wrangler 42122 live up to the legendary real-life off-road? In this video, we will be looking at the functionality, the aesthetics, as well as the pros and cons of the car. I'm on BrickMe, and in addition to this full review of the car, I will also be providing three fun facts about the real-life Jeep Wrangler at the end of this video, so make sure to stick around. The main functionality of this car is the front winch. Although I appreciate that it does include a winch, it's actually very flawed. There is no locking mechanism and is just held in by friction. This means that you cannot pull anything heavy without the winch being extended at the maximum. On top of that, it's actually very difficult to roll the winch back in. You have to kind of awkwardly turn this gear, which can be very tedious when playing with the car. I just really wished that the car made use of the spare tire back here and connected it to the front winch so that way when you would spin this tire, the winch would either extend or come back. However, instead of a direct connection to the winch from the spare tire, I would have it pass through a very basic gearbox, so that in neutral it would function normally, but whenever the gearbox would be engaged, it would essentially serve as a parking gear, locking the winch in place. I just want to say that if you're enjoying this video so far, then subscribe to get all the latest LEGO Technic Winter 2021 set reviews. No pressure though. No pressure. One awesome function of the LEGO Technic Jeep Wrangler is the Hand of God steering. I love how the knob is angled because the steering knob doesn't immediately take away from the overall aesthetic of the car. This particular type of Hand of God steering should definitely be adopted into other LEGO Technic sets. Obviously, you do get openable doors with a very nice interior and I actually appreciate that the seats do have a little sticker on them, which is a really nice touch. You also get the openable hood on the front, which reveals the fake V6 engine. It's not even a fake piston engine, it's just a piece with a sticker meant to represent a fake engine. I personally don't really have a big complaint about this, but a lot of fans are a little upset by this. Since this car is based on the legendary Jeep Wrangler, you obviously get suspension on this car. However, only the back set of wheels is connected to a pair of shock absorbers. Unfortunately, the suspension is not independent, so that way when one wheel rises, the other one sits lower. But the front pair of wheels is basically just an oscillating axle. Come on. Why not have the front set of wheels also be connected to some shock absorbers? There is definitely room for improvement with the LEGO Technic Jeep Wrangler. A major complaint I have seen about this Jeep Wrangler is the lack of a proper drivetrain. I'm actually perfectly fine with that, since you get other features like the winch as well as the suspension to compensate. A proper drivetrain as well as a real V6 fake piston engine would have probably made this car much more expensive than only $50. Surprisingly though, the suspension actually works really well whenever you play with the car in the rocky terrain. For playability, you're gonna have tons of fun with the LEGO Technic Jeep Wrangler. Owning this set gives you a feeling, as if you're driving a real Jeep Wrangler. That is just awesome. First of all, let's address the elephant in the room, which is obviously the front section. Instead of looking like a real Jeep Wrangler, the headlights here are bulged out like frog eyes. You know what? I'm nicknaming it the frog. Look at that. It even jumps like a frog. But in all seriousness, I forgive the set for incorporating such bizarre headlights. This is a small $50 set and I really don't know how it would be possible to make better headlights here. Besides the front section, the rest of the car captures the overall aesthetic of the real Jeep Wrangler very well. I love the Rubicon label here since pretty much all Jeep Wranglers in real life have this written on the side. I also love the black mudguards here, they're just so awesome and incredibly well detailed for such a small set. The rest of the car looks absolutely phenomenal from really all sides. I strongly believe that with the constraints that LEGO was working with and making sure that it was priced no more than $50, but also capturing the aesthetic of the real car, the designers of the set did a fantastic job. In my opinion, 
The number one appeal of this set for many LEGO Technic fans are these brand new tires, which look a lot like miniaturized versions of Class Xeron tires. Even though I have a lot of nostalgia for the standard LEGO Technic tires, I strongly believe that the new ones are better, and the new ones should be included in every LEGO Technic set from now on. They look far better, and they're just so awesome. Fortunately, instead of just four, you actually get five of these brand new tires. If you're looking to get your hands on these brand new tires, then this set is the perfect purchase for you. So now, let's talk about the pros and the cons of the car. For the pros, it is based on the legendary Jeep Wrangler off-roader, which is actually one of the last modern SUVs to come equipped with a manual transmission option. That is just awesome. In this set, you also get brand new tires. These tires are going to be awesome for lots of different mock makers and especially myself. I do really like LEGO Technic tires, so they're a nice and fun addition to the set. Except for the front, the Jeep Wrangler actually looks quite awesome. It captures the detailing of the real-life Jeep Wrangler incredibly well. It's just so well detailed for such a small $50 set. It is an awesome car based on the real-life legendary off-roader. It's just super amazing. And this car is also a great value for $50. For only $50, you get five of these brand new tires. And you also get a couple of shock absorbers, which is a really good deal, considering you do also get 665 pieces for only $50. But what about the cons of the car? Well, for one, it doesn't even have a drivetrain, so the wheels aren't connected by differentials or anything. And it does not have a fake piston engine or really anything like that. There is definitely room for uh, modifications modifications here with the car, you can definitely add your own drivetrain here. Personally, I'm definitely going to be modifying this set. This Jeep Wrangler also has a really weird winch. It's just held in there by some uh, Technic pin friction. It doesn't even have a locking mechanism, so the winch could definitely be improved. And in my opinion, it's just not very ergonomic to play with the winch of uh, the LEGO Technic Jeep Wrangler. And finally, the bad front in the car. It just doesn't capture the real-life Jeep Wrangler that well. In the real-life Jeep Wrangler, the headlights are sort of in the car, but in the LEGO Technic version, they're bulging out, which, you know, I don't like since it's not really accurate to the real-life Jeep Wrangler. If you've made it this far into the video, then just thank you very much. I'm gonna tell you three fun facts about the Jeep Wrangler in real life. For one, no one actually knows where the name Jeep came from. Obviously, there's uh, lots of different theories and rumors about this, but nobody really knows or it's not even really confirmed uh, how the name Jeep came to be. Another cool fact of this Jeep Wrangler is actually that the original design of the Jeep Wrangler was actually created in just a couple days. Like, that's really, really fast to design a car. And the third fact is that the Jeep Wrangler has a 285 horsepower engine running at 6,400 RPM. If you would like to learn more about the LEGO Technic McLaren Senna GTR, the LEGO Technic Ferrari 488 GTE, or the LEGO Technic Off-Road Buggy, then click on the videos right over here to check out my reviews of those sets. And if you're watching this video on Christmas, then Merry Christmas! This is Yaron Brickme here, and I'll see you in the next one.